Hi, my name's Jamie, I'm an artist. I've been painting for about four years now, just going on four years. I um, started painting when basically I was in prison. I got I got to jail for a spree of robberies um, that I'd done completely intoxicated. Uh, basically, I picked up painting to uh, pass some time while I was in there. It was also a way to kind of hand out presents to, to families uh, for birthdays and Christmases, things like that. Um, and very quickly got to really enjoy it and, and I realised how much time it was passing at night. We'd be locked up for five o'clock and then opened again at like half seven in the morning the next day. So it was a long time to be in a cell uh, with nothing to do. So I just found this was a great way to pass my time. After doing it for probably about a year, year and a half, Guys were coming into my cell and saying like, "That's brilliant, man! Can I buy that?" And um, like, and then giving me wee ideas as well for for wee different touches that I could do to the paintings. And I, after I done, I think it was the, the lion I done. Um, I kind of realised I was like, I could maybe probably try and sell this. Like, this is something that I could I could maybe try and do when I get out. Um, so what I started doing for there was I started painting. Um, and every time I finished a painting, I was just handing them out to the family and they were kind of storing them up in the house for me. And my plan was to have an exhibition when I got out, um, which is now happening. Um, it's, uh, it's been amazing, really, like just how everything's kind of coming together now. I'm excited about what it can bring, I'm excited the doors it can open. It's also a great focus for me as well. I had a lot of issues with addiction, um, drug or a drink. Um, I, I just don't know when to stop. So basically, that just caused more problems in my life um, to the point where I obviously ended up in prison. The turnaround for me was in prison um, when I, I'd actually I'd been put in segregation. I was locked away from prison population. I had smashed my cell up. I took the sink off the cell and I put it through the window. The, the, the windows have got bars inside the glass. Uh, I put the sink through the window, smashed my cell up. Uh, I severed the tendon my finger. Um, and at the same time, I get escorted down to the, the SRU. I'd lost the kind of use in my finger. I, I was in there. I was only seeing one face a day. like. The, the screws would open the door and uh, they'd, be, they'd be saying you want a slice of bread with that or do you want beans for your dinner and then it was boom, door closed and that, that's all I was seeing every day. Um, for, I, was, I was in there for about eight weeks nearly. So I'd see that one face a day and the rest of the time I was just left in there with my thoughts, uh, a couple of books. There was a telly but I, I just at that time I, I didn't even put the telly on man. Um, I was just sitting in there contemplating my life. And like, and then it just came to us, like, I'm better than that, do you know what I mean? Like, I can do better than this. Um, not only am I separated from society for the things I've been doing, I'm separated from the prison population, like, that's the people society can't deal with that's in there, and I'm separated from them again. Um, and I've just seen it, and, and I just, I don't know what happened. I just wanted to change, basically, um, and I had to do things different. I, I stopped drinking, I stopped smoking, um, I started exercising and then I, I was in there, I think it was like the last three weeks, I started getting into the wee gym down in the SRU. I started asking to get out to get into the exercise and and, uh, and then I just became determined to change. Like when I got back up onto the section, um, a lot of the guys that I'd been hanging about with, using with, like I just I just kind of distanced myself a bit. I started smashing the gym. I got myself into a, a wee work party, I was working in the cooks. Um, I started focusing on like reading them about kind of self-help and read a few good books uh, about changing my mindset. My mindset um, was always very negative. It was always the world against me kind of thing. Um, that's what I kind of changed. Um, so I started thinking more positive thoughts. I started learning that the more positive thoughts you're thinking, the, the more positive thoughts that come and the more positive life you start living. And, and for then, and that's about four years now. In fact, it's over four years that I've been clean and sober and uh, life's going well, man. Uh, I still train, I still do the things that's good for us. I do a bit of meditating, uh, I like to run, um, but my painting was a massive part of it. Um, see the focus, like, 
it's like a meditation when I when I get into a painting. It's just it's just like that. I don't know. I lose hours, man. But I'm I'm focusing on things. I'm visualising things in my head when I'm painting, man. I've got a lot of times I've got the music on. And I'm I'm just tuned into it, man. I'm in the zone. Um, and a lot of things that I sit and visualise when I'm painting and stuff like that and it, things come to me and then before I know it, more things are happening in my life that I've been thinking about and visualising while I've been painting and yeah, I just find that a really good outlet of, of stress, out, outlet of worries, thoughts, like things, I don't know. Um, you can have a, a good painting session and you just come out of it and you're just, you just feel good, feel you've achieved something as well. If you don't have goals, you're, you're not going anywhere. You're no, you're no striving forward. You're just stagnating, and uh, and that's not a place I want to be anymore. Uh, I just want to constantly be pushing forward and and uh, seeing how far I can take things and how far I can go in my life. I've wasted a lot of it, um, and there is a good life out there for us. Um, I just need to keep moving forward, and every day it's kind of uh, it's another wee step forward, another day sober, another day another wee step towards a new goal.